Well, good morning, my Galilee family and friends. This is Paula. Seems like it's been a while. Um, I hope you got through the week okay. It's certainly been a busy week, especially for Galilee. Um, I decided to be outside, and even though it's gotten a little cooler, and now I'm out front because every time I decide to go out back, my neighbors are cutting the grass and they're using the blowers for the leaves. So now I'm right out front and I'm sure the people that are driving by are wondering, what is she doing? But that's okay, it's fine. So what I would like to talk to you today is about um, what's coming up. Um, I think we know what's coming up. It's Thanksgiving. And, uh, our Advent season and Christmas, so we got a really, really busy week coming up, a uh, busy month um, and a half. Um, and I don't know about you, but it's like I get anxious and sometimes overwhelmed because you're thinking of all the things you have to do and you want to do and, um, and do all these things in a very small amount of time. Um, both with Galilee, our Galilee family, and you know my own family and my friends, and and you start thinking about you know got to get the house together, and I mean I'm better than I used to be. Um, I'm not trying now for the Hallmark Christmas card look, but I still I, I try to get it as close as possible, put it that way. But anyway, it comes up to cleaning and getting that done. And right now my house is in such a disarray because we are um, remodeling the upstairs. So it's pretty much not just that one room because you gotta move everything you know, all over. So it's pretty much a mess. But anyway, um, when I was thinking, I happened to look up at the chandelier and I'm thinking, there's a cobweb. When I come out, it was so funny because that's what I'm gonna talk about, cobwebs. And I came out and our railing, that was a big cobweb, and I'm thinking, I swear, I did, I was just out earlier, I did not notice that. But you don't notice it. That's what's bad. You notice it when you're gonna have company coming, you have to look up at the chandelier, thinking, oh boy, it's a cobweb. Um, but what I was thinking about is cobwebs in our minds. Um, I'm trying to think, there was a song that was in the 60s or 70s about cobwebs in our minds, but I can't remember exactly. Um, but it's like, our mind is full of thoughts in our subconscious, like what well, can be anything that's, that, and they're not good. <laughs> it's like selfishness or envy, um, um, just doing things wrong or jealousy, um, not forgiving. Um, that's a biggie, that's hard for people. Um, but you know you shouldn't, and, and it bothers you. Um, but it's shame, it's selflessness, and, and guilt. Oh, that's another one, guilt. Yeah, that's a biggie. Um, so I was thinking about that, and I was reading, because I'm thinking, I know God doesn't want that. We're supposed to bring all of our anxieties to Him. And I do know when I do that, and I, I do, um, boy, I feel so much better. <clears throat> Because he is our father. And I'm thinking, why don't I do that all the time? But I don't because, well, it's a work, I'm a work in progress. I think most of us are. But I was looking at um, the different things about um, what God, when he talks about bringing all the anxieties to him. Uh, the first one is Philippians 4, 6 through 7. Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. I'm thinking, wow, that's so good. And he knows um, how you feel, and he knows if you're sincere. Um, and I, I now, I do just think of him as my father and I can go to him um, and I just love that and it does give me comfort um, though not you know all the time but for the most part it really does or and sometimes I just give it to him and then I just wait because I know um, I, there's nothing I can do he's in control and it's going to be up to him so 
The second one is uh, Hebrews 8, 12. For I will forgive their wickedness and will remember their sins no more. I will forgive their wickedness and will remember their sins no more. Um, I don't know about you, but that is one of the most wonderful things um, about our God is that no matter what we've done in the past, um, it doesn't matter. Um, and Pastor Matt really brought that home a couple of weeks ago at lectionary study. It doesn't matter what you did before. It's what you are now. And if you repent and ask for forgiveness, you have it. That's the, one of the best gifts to me. That's my Christmas gift. So then the next one, but at the same time, he expects us to forgive others. And um, that's one that I have been better at. And I can tell you, um, it really does help and make a difference um, how you feel. And I just find myself more open to bring more people into my life. And um, it's just, it's like a burden lifted. I truly, I truly believe that. So I am better at that one. Then there's Matthew 6, 14. For if you give forgive other people when they sin against you, your Father, Heavenly Father will also forgive you. And uh, that's what it's all about, and that's what we're all looking for. So really work, you know, if you're having problems with that, um, really pray about it because it is for you. It really is. So it's time to clean out the cobwebs in our head and probably our houses too, but especially our minds. And I know with the things that are going on that I can't really do a whole lot to make a difference in my house. I'm gonna, I got some time to really work on um, my cobwebs. And uh, it'll be the focus for this week for me for sure. And I hope you think about it. Um, it'll probably continue through the holidays, I'm sure. Um, but it's something, you know, we clean house, we house clean. It's something we should do on a regular schedule. Um, but this one is my favorite. Philippians 4, 13. I can do all this through him who gives me strength. <clears throat> so, what's hiding in the corners of your life? You need to let it go. Because until we get those subconscious and real cobwebs in our head. You're not gonna live your best life. And that's what we're here for. That's what God wants. Um, it's not gonna be perfect, but we can be happy. Um, and knowing that this isn't forever, um, we know where we're going. So, so before I, and then before I end, um, was just thinking about the things that have gone on in the past weekend. Um, even before that was trunk or treat. Um, this past weekend, it was, um, we literally, we actually have 11 new members. That to me is wonderful. So you might be seeing some people you don't know. And I know some people like they think, well, maybe they go to a different service. I know um, I usually just go up to someone and say, hi, my name is Paula. I'm not sure if I, I don't think I know you, and you may just go to another service. Nine times out of nine, they're new. Um, and you welcome them. And um, I, of course, you know me, I always ask them where they came from and, you know, um, just different things about them. I'm just interested in people. Uh, so never let a person see a person like sitting alone or whatever. Sit with them. Uh, we represent Galilee and our family, so we need to do that. And then also, so we had that, and then we baptized, or Pastor Matt baptized, um, Brett Zebron. Um, I sure, I'm thinking most of you probably know him. He gets to all the services a lot. Um, he's wonderful. Um, he helps us so much. He's a kind-hearted person, and we're blessed to have him, and I know he feels the same way. And then Sunday, oh, Reformation Fest, first annual, won't be the last. 
Going to be doing it again next year. If you didn't go, please make sure you're there next year. It was so much fun. And the fellowship and the games and the music. Otis, you know Otis, he was there with his accordion and did all the Polish music and German music rather. Um, Martin Luther was there. And then we had another Martin Luther um, just walking around and stuff. And I think you may know him. Um, he's just... He was just a great guy. It's Pastor Bob Stevens. Um, so it's so wonderful to have him and Bonnie at our church now. Um, so anyway, it was so much fun, and was like a, and the food was amazing, and just a, everything was good. And seeing the kids and the youth group was great, and they helped with so much, and um, they helped with you know they were at the tattoo parlor, and uh, I had a Lutheran chick on my uh, cheek so it was just fun and we played Kahoo and I learned a lot we learned a lot more about Martin Luther so it was educational too so just please make sure you come next year and so with that I'm going to let you go and think about when you're um, focusing this weekend or next week and you're thinking about what you need to do and maybe check on those cobwebs in your Head. And if you need help with that, you know what I always say, all you need to do is look up. Until next time, bye.